Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi the son of Mube is my name and I just wanted to update uh, on the issue regarding or rather let me say the Asaka regarding the Minister of Home Affairs that is Dr. Aaron Mutualeti and the Helen Sussman uh, on the issue of the Zimbabwe exemption permit. I've just received a number of questions from people especially those who hold the ZEP wanting to know if indeed the case is still going on or the minister is thrown in the towel the issue is still all is going on and there's been a number of developments but before i delve into those i would like to invite you again to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it well what is happening right now on the side of the helen Sussman foundation is that they have decided to oppose uh, the bid by Minister Mtsualeti to appeal against a High Court ruling that is on the Zimbabwe exemption permit. Uh, you will remember that the Pretoria High Court found last year that the Minister's decision to terminate the ZEP was unlawful and unconstitutional. They also argued that uh, it had not gone through enough consultation, so the court ruled in that favor of the Helen Sussman Foundation. Then the minister took the ruling to the Supreme Court of Appeal where he lost and he has now asked the Constitutional Court for leave, of, for leave to appeal against that High Court ruling which he lost at the Supreme Court of Appeal. So the Foundation and the Consortium for Refugees and Migrants in South Africa has decided to oppose the bid. So the Helen Sussman Foundation has gone to court to oppose this bid by Dr. Mtsualeti uh, and they say that is based on that ruling that he may not terminate the ZEP program. Uh, the foundation filed its papers in the Constitutional Court uh, opposing the earlier, as I have said, application by the minister for leave to appeal against the, the Pretoria High Court ruling, which found that his decision was unlawful and unconstitutional. And the Helen Sussman Foundation says the unlawfulness of the decision to stop the ZEP has been determined on undisputed common cause facts which simply cannot be appealed. That is their argument. They say uh, the main premise of the High Court ruling was that the minister had not consulted with the affected 178,000 permit holders prior to making his unilateral decision. They say the minister had also not personally deposed to an affidavit uh, in the matter. So the High Court set aside the decision to stop the ZEP and sent the matter back to the Minister to make a fresh decision uh, which would follow a fair consultative process. Now the HSF has refused an application by the Minister for leave to appeal and the Supreme Court of Appeal recently dismissed, as you would know, his appeal on the grounds that it had no prospect of success. The Minister who has been adamant that he's going to leave no stone unturned uh, in his uh, attempt to have the first High Court ruling overturned because he claims that it is uh, bloating or rather disrespecting uh, the separation of powers between the executive, which is where the minister belongs, and the judiciary, which is where the court is. So he has now turned to the Constitutional Court and uh, they say that uh, through the Director General, who is Mr. Libuani, Tony Makote, who wrote the affidavit, said that the High Court should have found that the Minister had consulted, uh, although this, this was done after the fact and it justified the limitation of ZEP holders' rights, including by submitting that conditions in Zimbabwe had improved. He said the High Court order effectively meant that the minister could never terminate the program. So that is where we are right now. That the minister has indeed gone to the Constitutional Court. He went to the very High Court which ruled against him, tried to appeal that decision or that judgment. He failed. From there, he went to the Supreme Court of Appeal where he failed again and now he's going to the Constitutional Court which is if it rules against him or in favor of the Helen Sussman Foundation, would then mean that the minister is exhausted 
all the legal channels. We don't know what he's going to do because he has threatened before and that is not going to take it lying down. He's even threatened that whatever court ruling is going to be arrived at will place the safety of migrants, that is the ZEP holders, at risk even at some point dropped the name of the masses saying that they uh, this decision against him would then uh, invite the ire of the masses, whatever that meant, because it turned out that he, he, it felt rather to many people as a threat of trying to use the court of public, public opinion or the streets to try and uh, overturn whatever court decision would be arrived at, even threatened the Helen Sussman Foundation in a charged statement or press conference in which we, he said that he had fought for the liberation of South Africa, he fought for democracy, which he claimed was being abused by organizations like the Helen Sussman Foundation, even claiming that some of these people, in reference to race of the people who represented the Helen Sussman Foundation, saying that they were representing the apartheid government. So we wait with bated breath to see what the Constitutional Court uh, rules then so that we see what the minister will then do afterward after he has exhausted all the legal uh, channels. So this is what we had. We do confirm that the minister has gone to the Constitutional Court to seek a leave to appeal the judgment of the High Court which he lost in the same High Court, which he lost in the Supreme Court. Now he's seeking to appeal it in the Constitutional Court, but the Helen Sussman Foundation has opposed his attempts at the very same Constitutional Court. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share, but also participate in these arguments. Raise your uh, whatever issues that you may have be it about the ZEP, be it about this very case, or anything else that you seek to have clarification to. So this is where we leave it right now.